All right, here we go with those East Carteret Lejeune highlights as the uh, Mariners looking to wrap up an undefeated Coastal Plains Conference season. And once they flipped it, uh, then they got scoring a whole lot. And here comes East Carteret with those fancy powder blue uniforms. Shamal, Shamel Baker, the basketball star, taking it all the way on the kickoff. And uh, come on, Shamal, get in there. He scores. And East Carteret would add a whole bunch more to that as they get the win. Jake Nelson, little Jake and Bake. Or a little shake and Jake, or a little toss down to the end zone where he has got his guy. That is Branson Long, and East Carteret gets the easy win over Lejeune tonight by the final of 52 14. Well, thank you for watching the Blitz. Three teams started the night tied for first place in the Coastal Conference. If Richlands, White Oak, and West Carteret all won tonight, they'd be declared tri champs, and playoff seedings would be determined by the respective RPI. Let's start with Richlands. The Wildcats trying to get a share of a conference title for the first time since 2001. Brett Kennedy has those Wildcat highlights. Brett? Yes, it was a Wildcat game, and it was a wild game in this one. Let's go into the action here in Richlands as the Wildcats take on Dixon. Dixon winless, trying to finish the year with their first win of the season. It was senior night tonight for the Richlands Wildcats. Coach Bird getting some hugging in. Julian Thiel, an interception early on for Richlands, a number 41. Check this out. He keeps going. He keeps going. He keeps going. And he stays all the way inbounds, taking it deep into Dixon Bulldog territory. And the Wildcats, the Wildcats mascot is loving that. After that, C.J. McDonald, or uh, Owen Simcoe, would add a rushing touchdown on the ground for Richlands. To get on the first, uh, to get on the board for the first Richlands touchdown of the game, that would be later followed by a great tipped C.J. McDonald interception for Richlands. Wildcats get the shutout win at home, 49 to nothing, to finish the regular season at six and four. Time for the playoffs for them. What happened to White Oak, Brian? Back to you. Yeah, the Vikings trying to get a share of that conference title for the first time since 2000. Hosted a Swansboro team they barely beat in a non-conference game earlier this season. Similar game tonight as it was a close, low-scoring affair. That Viking defense, Phillip Davis leading the way. The crowd sparse but into it. Look, the rain trying to keep some people away, but the hardcore fans were out there. Then check this out, Demarius Hester is going to get the pass back and the quarterback becomes the receiver and takes it in for the touchdown and White Oak gets the win as they beat Swansboro 14 to 9 so White Oak gets a share of the title. What about defending champ West Carteret trying to get a share of the title as well? They won it all by themselves last year. They also wanted to win the Carteret County Championship but had to beat rival Croatan to get both. Well, they did just that. Is uh their fine quarterback, the sophomore Gets it to the Keegan Callahan, the junior tight end. Here's Croatan trying to come back as they do with that running style. They kept it close for a while as Mr. Stevens gets in. Braden Stevens scores, but here comes Jalen Hewitt looking for who else but the tight end again, Keegan Callahan. And Wes Carteret does it. They get a share of that title, 46 to 27. It's Hewitt and company. To Adam Cummings, boy, this has been a great combination lately. The basketball star doing what he does best, breaking all those tackles lately and scoring. So congratulations to all three teams on winning the Coastal Conference Championship. Adam Cummings, man, he has been hot. West Craven had a chance to wrap up the outright Eastern Plains Conference title. They just needed to beat Southwest Edgecombe to do it. They played it at Clay Jordan Stadium in Chip, just outside of Vanceboro, senior night. and. Uh, the seniors having a good time. Thanks to Mike Lee for getting us these highlights. Is that West Craven defense going to work? And then the offense as they would get the touchdown behind Ashton Bachelor. Then Bachelor one more time handing it off to Isaiah Pelham and Pelham takes it in and West Craven. It was a slow start for them offensively, but that defense played really well and they get the win as they force the fumble and West Craven gets the 21 to seven victory as that offense again heated up in the second half. Bachelor, look at the beautiful pass. Uh, and he's got his guy for oh, hold on to it uh, down into scoring territory and then they would take it in from there after that. So again, thanks Mike Lee for getting us these highlights of West Craven finishing off that Eastern Plains Conference title. Farmville Central and North Pitt had their annual county rivalry game. This one in Bethel and this was a wild one as well. CJ Wilson completing his first year as head coach. 
Uh, Farmville scoring a lot early. They jumped out to the early 14-0 lead and then trying to use some special teams to hold on to it. They recover the kickoff and that would lead to another touchdown as Farmville Central. They're going to get the win on the road 34-6 over those North Pitt uh, Panthers in a game that had a lot of issues uh, holding on to the football. And Aiden Griffin and Washington both finish up long seasons, but one would have an end, a happy end to it. Aiden Griffin uh, it would not be them. They finish 0-10 on the season because here comes that Washington defense. They're going to strip the quarterback of the ball, and then they're going to scoop, and they're going to go all the way the other way for the score. And Washington gets the win over Aiden Drifton, 12-6. We have more highlights to show you, including our Blitz Battle Royale, our Moore's Barbecue Blitz Cam, getting us a behind-the-scenes look at another big Duplin County rivalry game that ended up with a really weird ending that you're going to have to see to believe, and it still has to be completed tomorrow. That's coming up.